Hi, this is Jennifer Kane with Kane Consulting, and this is our social media toolbox tutorial, the place where we provide answers to some basic social media questions, the kinds of questions that we hear from our clients and contacts in our network. So there is no stupid question in social media, especially since things move so darn fast. Um, and uh, the question that we are going to tackle today is how to pin an image um, off of the web onto Pinterest. If you are on Pinterest, you may find that a lot of the information that you're seeing on Pinterest is kind of uh, being drawn from within the fishbowl itself. So people are in Pinterest, they see somebody within Pinterest post an image, they repin it to their board, which is seen by somebody else in Pinterest who repins it to their board. And after a while, there can be a lot of the same sorts of images that you see after a while. So this will enable you to kind of go out and seek new imagery from the web and pull it into your Pinterest account and to share that with your network. So I am going to go ahead and get me out of the picture and I'm going to show you how you can pin information off the web onto Pinterest. So starting out here, I am in my Pinterest account and I'm going to show you how to add the Pinterest pin bookmark to your computer. So if I go up to here to about and I click on the pin it button, and I'm gonna scroll up for some reason. It doesn't start at the top. I don't know why. Uh, it's uh, got some information here at the top about how to add the pin it button to your bookmark bar and some basic information. Now I'm on a Macintosh, um, just thought it'd be good for you to know that. Um, so I've already gone ahead and added that to my uh, bookmark bar and here it is up here. Now for some reason it is not showing the little Pinterest icon here like it is over here on Netflix or on Gmail. It still works just fine. So don't freak out if you see that happen. So go ahead and add the pin it, uh, pin it button to your bookmark bar and then we're going to start pinning some information. <clears throat> so I'm going to start out here at this site called Pixie which is an aggregator site um, that aggregates images from across the web and I've done a search for the word octopus and I've seen a picture of an octopus that I do not have on my octopus board. Why do I have an octopus board? Just because they're kind of interesting and mushy and they kill things. Um, so, uh, so I want to add this picture to my board. So I'm going to go ahead and click this picture. You can see it's got some information about it's been picked a number of times and it was discovered by this Byron guy. I'm going to click on the picture and it's gonna take me to, um, I'm still in Pixie here. It's gonna take me to something that's got a little bit more detail. Now, um, I could pin this image right from this page onto Pinterest. Um, that's a little bit of a breach of etiquette because I wanna to try to get as close as possible to the source of this image, the photographer who took it, or if it's an illustration, the person who illustrated it, or if it's a, a design, the person who designed it. Because the closer you get to the source, then you are able to give proper attribution to the artist that created the material. So you don't have to do this, but it's um, really good etiquette to try to get as close to the possible source of the image as possible to include that into your into your pin. So I'm going to go heat down here to the source and click on this site where this was pulled into to Pixie. And this is a Tumblr that um, again is aggregating images on the on the uh, web into kind of a feed. So again, this is not the source of the image. It looks like down here that the source that this person pulled it from was Flickr. So let's go ahead and click on that and go a little bit deeper, slow, into Flickr. So I feel like in Flickr, we're pretty close to the source of the image. Over here is some information about who took it. This photo was taken on this date using this particular camera. This seems pretty legit as being a pretty good source material for this particular image. Now I'm going to show you two quick tricks that you can use when you're pinning stuff onto Pinterest. The first is if you highlight any piece of information, so let's say it has the name of the photographer, I'm going to use my quick keys here to copy this information. Um, and when I pin it, it will automatically put that into the pin. I don't even have to paste it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try that way. I'm going to pin it. Um, since there is only one image on the page, it's just going to offer me this one little choice. If there were multiple images, you would see multiple images there. I'm going to click pin it. And as you can see, it's automatically populating it with that information that I had copied on the Flickr account. So let's delete that for a second and go back here. Um, something else that is unique to Flickr in particular is Flickr has a partnership with Pinterest in which if you are pinning an image off of Flickr, it will automatically populate that pin with content about the source of the picture. You don't even have to type anything, which is even better. So I got nothing highlighted right now. I'm going to go up again and pin it. And I'm select the same image. 
And you can see up here that it is automatically populated with content within the description of the pin about who took this picture. I didn't even have to type that. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this. I could add some more content to that pin if I wanted to to describe it, um, but I'm not going to. And then generally I do go to see the pin after I've pinned it because sometimes you can have technicalities or your image may not show up right in Pinterest. So I always like to see how it looks native. And there is my image, which is now um, in my octopus board on Pinterest. So if I go over to my boards and scroll down, there is my octopus board with my octopus on it. Looking pretty darn cute. So hopefully that helps answer any of your questions about pinning stuff off the web onto Pinterest. Um, because things change very quickly on social media, it's a good idea to look at the date of this tutorial before you check out some of the recommendations within it. If you want to talk more about social media, feel free to go to caneconsulting.biz and join us on one of our social channels. Or if you have a question that you would like us to answer in a tutorial, drop us an email at info at caneconsulting.biz.